G'day cobbers. Today I'm going to start doing the two TVs that I'd saved to do on a uh, video. So we'll start on those. I have got uh, three printers as well to do. God, it's absolutely endless the amount of printers. And the worst part about it is they just create so much plastic waste. So I've pretty much bagged everything up except all this... Uh, big uh, big stuff. I've got a pile here to go out to the transfer station and two bags full of plastic. Um, I'm gonna have to do some research on how to get rid of uh, these, the CRTs, they're fully scrapped out, just pretty much plastic and glass that's left now, so I presume just to the uh, transfer station Yeah, so, but anyway, we'll make a start on these uh, CRTs, and uh, I've got the, the tripod set up here, so I'm just going to be working on them here. I'll start on this uh, black one first, and I've just left it on the trolley, so it's easier. They're bloody heavy. So, anyway, we'll get you set up on the tripod, and we'll see you there. Alright, so we'll just try to get everything out and off while we while we can. Um, okay. Really nice um, thick degaussing table on this one. That's good. Um, let's see about getting this off. So it's a, uh, about a six or seven mil, maybe even eight mil. Yep, seven. just like to have a uh, good look at these before I go twisting and pulling them off because this part is very brittle and that's where all the, the gas is contained. I found out that the hard way while being a bit rough trying to get one of these off. So I had to evacuate but uh, you get that. So we'll try uh, manipulate it a little bit. A lot of these are uh, held on with uh, some type of resin or glue. I find these really big TVs are a lot, a lot harder to get these uh, yolks off. Uh, all those little ones I had no issues with, but this one is really well stuck down. Alright, that should be okay. Uh, we've got a cable tie holding that on. Oh, there we 
Okay. Excellent. Alright. Cut this bugger. Should have been the first thing I did. But it's been a long, long time I've been told since these have been uh, plugged in and working for that matter, so. But either way, I'm always still over cautious with the uh, capacitors and remaining power and whatnot. So, all capacitors or even large batteries, I cut, it, cut each um, cable individually. Heavy this thing, I just want to have a look at it. Oh, crap. Wow, that's, that's a really good um, decausing cable there. Very thick. We just get the uh, most of these uh, wires and stuff out. Dirty 
this one. There we go, view wise. Yeah, that's all right. All right, so we'll start with uh, cutting this. Not as thick this uh, degaussian cable, but still, still not too bad. Um, I won't worry about getting the speakers out of this one. As I'm aware, this uh, silver banding sort of stuff, I think it's um, some sort of coated brass. I'm not too sure about that, but I do have a, a separate container for that where I keep it. I'll get this uh, yoke off. Alright, let's see how we go. 
filming here. I seem to generally block the view a lot or put it out of view up where it is, so we'll see. Scrap these speakers. Um, get this aside for you now. We'll just start on this little board. Get all the wires off we can. There's not too much on this board that we could use anyway. And that's that, so nothing really on there few resistors and capacitors but um, I could get uh, these I forget what it is that uh, can be recovered from those but for us we're just going to scrap that and, um, so this is the, the first TV we did anyway um, I am going to be hopefully getting myself a uh, manual uh, wire stripper because as of the moment I've got nothing to strip my wires. I just wanted to have a, a quick look at that. That is really a um, a substantial amount and just by the weight of it it's really heavy as well so that's a good quality cable that one so get all the uh, plugs and stuff off that we can make our lives a little bit easier going to assume, no, I thought that was uh, steel, okay, no, that's alright, um, could probably get them off uh, for the aluminum, so as you guys are probably all aware, I do scrap almost everything, so that one's uh, steel, stainless steel by the look of it. I've actually got a little uh, tub that I'm using for my stainless steel at present. Get the uh, 
transformer and uh, copper the copper spools off. to transformers. So I'll just throw that in with my uh, dirty copper. A lot of times it will have uh, solder on it, so anything with solder or paint or a lacquer I'll just throw into my uh, dirty copper. I did see some uh, silvers before, but I seem to have uh, lost it now. Nice little transformer. That one we might actually be able to um, get the copper out of. We'll have a go. that is but I wanted to break it open to see what, what was inside okay. all right so we've just got a uh, switch here So we've made quite a mess of this one, that's for sure. Alright, nothing under that. I presume that's probably uh, stainless steel as well. Hasn't got any signs of rust or anything on it. other bits of aluminum but I'm not going to worry about them. I still haven't seen that uh, that silver or crystal I should say. I know there was one on one of these boards. Yeah, that one. I'm fairly certain I saw one on here. Alright, so I think that's about it from this board. We've got a few EEPROMs on there, but um, I can see they're going to be quite difficult to get off. No, I thought that was a copper coil. I'll try to get the EEPROMs off, see what happens. I believe 
that's the part we want there anyway for the gold recovery. I'll take that a lot anyway. Try to get this other one off with the hammer. Might, might be cleaner, might not. Well, I think that's about it from this board. I'll set that aside and uh, take it off off the uh, plastic at a later stage. Um, I'll sort out some of these wires and such. So I'll put this into my uh, burnt copper as it's got a bit of lacquer on it. And crack into this coil. Get some safeties just in case. Smaller screwdriver. So this one can go into our clean. Just try to break this uh, top part off.
that one's copper. Just wasn't sure if that was copper or aluminum. So all of this too will be going into dirty. Still try and clean it up a little bit. Oh, it's quite thick. So it takes up a little less room. There's a little bit uh, all wrapped around here. Not much, but we may as well get it as it's there. That's about it. All right, now we uh, the uh, red one. Definitely will be going into dirty this one. It's covered in glue and bright red, so. Uh, it's Just do a quick way of what we got just from that. So 250 grams, pretty much. Um, that's not bad. Not including the uh, divorcing cable either, so decent effort. Still got this uh, transformer, we'll have a go at this. That might be steel instead of ferrite. Yeah, it is, unfortunately. It is one of the ones I like, not layers and layers of uh, tape. It's a lot of uh, copper. We can't get to that. All right. May as well start on the the other one. same pro 
process, I think. We've got a couple of cop couple, uh, copper coils up the top, if I can speak properly. Another one on this uh, sideboard. So we'll do a way up like this, see what we get. Let's do one of those wads. So each one of those wads was about three grams or so. Yeah, I think two grams for yeah, two grams for the um those last ones I just did. And uh those first three, I think it was, or two maybe, were t uh, three grams. All right, so 353, two grams out of that, a little bit more there. 353, yep. Yeah. All right, that's a decent effort with that one. And that piece is dirty and all the rest of this is clean copper so we've got a fair bit of uh, actual clean copper out of this one the last TV we got 250 grams but that was all all dirty copper so definitely a win with that This one wasn't as high, higher quality as the uh, the first one. It's a bit more spongy and springs back open, whereas the other one, yeah, if you bend it, it just stays there. So it's a really high grade of uh, copper. But even still, this one's not too bad. Nice and easy, somewhat. Alright, uh, we've got silver on here that I did see. Or crystal, I should say. It has vanished now, though. There she is. Thank you. 
Nothing under that. Double check. Yes, yeah, so No, nothing on that. I'll try to get this uh, heat bomb. I don't imagine it'll be too easy, but we'll give it a shot. No. Punch the hole straight through the board. to tidy up. And that's the last board off, off that. <coughs> Nothing much on it really. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, bit of a... Oh, a bit of a mission, but... Uh, from what we got from it, I believe it was quite um, successful. Catch you on the next one, guys. Have a good one.